Okay, so I'm going to use Roshi's Fortress of Swolitude with the help of Sir Daverick, our wonderful, wonderful frontline fighter, to get that humanoid sweat. Uh, can you, do you have, uh, do you have Fortress of Swolitude in your spell list? Can you click it so that people can see it? I can, I can, I don't have the full text, because I'm, I'm lame. I can oh. read it, though. Yeah, read uh, it. You call text. into existence a place of physical study and martial mastery. As a part of the cast of the spell, you may choose one, uh, choose as many creatures to allow access as you wish, which I will choose, but in the grass, the people in our party, you know, that, that's sure. who's getting access. <laughs> Uh, and this choosing can be as broad or specific as you wish. Uh, the structure is all one level and may have a footprint of up to 150 feet on any side. Though the exterior is visible to onlookers, appearing to be made from jagged pieces of stone piled together. No creature not specified to the casting of the spell may enter. The space inside is separated into the following four rooms. A dojo, fully outfitted with floor-like mirrors and practice equipment. Creatures who spend their long rest here gain an additional five feet of movement for the next 24 hours. A library, fully outfitted with a wide range of books and spell components. Creatures who spend their long rest here may cast spells without requiring material components for 24 hours. A chapel, fully outfitted with a number of altars equal to the number of priests in the fortress, each adorned with the bust of the appropriate deity. Creatures who spend their long rest here may add their proficiency bonus to the healing of, spe of the spells they cast for 24 hours. <laughs> A grove open to the sky, fully outfitted with a retinue of fade to tend to it. Creatures who spend their long rest here are immune to spells and effects that would put them to sleep for 24 hours. Regardless of where a creature spends its long rest, they also gain plus one to all strength-based ability checks and saving throws for the next 24 hours. The fortress also contains enough supplies and bedding for as many creatures as enter it. At the end of the 24 hours, the structure vanishes, leaving behind no trace. Casting the spell on the same spot every day for a year makes the effect permanent. Uh, so you all have a choice of where you want to spend your night. Uh, as uh, you watch uh, Virus gather up all of the potion bottles that he has been saving uh, for this of entire course. adventure. For no Don't apparent reason. Way. You haven't been able to figure out why he's been saving them. And then you watch as he systematically spends 25 minutes smashing them to dust. Uh... Uh, and then, except one, which he hands to Sir Daverick and uh, and asks him to, like, wring his shirt out into it. And he casts a spell for ten minutes. And uh, what appears in front of you is what looks like uh, Superman's Fortress of Solitude, except made of stone instead of ice. And as you walk inside, you see these four separate rooms, um, uh, each sort of... Uh, cutting the space into quarters uh, and you are able to um, spend your night wherever you would like in there. Regardless, you get plus one to uh, strength ability checks and saving throws for the next 24 hours and I'm going to trust you to keep track of the other effects uh, that yeah, you I got it. are able to take advantage of. Uh, so... Uh, the only thing you have missed so far, Blade in the Grass, is uh, that at the end of the night, after you all defeated the Dinonychi, Dinonychuses... King uh, of Feathers. Uh, well, you defeated the King of Feathers, and then oh, you yeah, went to his home, and it was infested with uh, small little chicken dinosaurs that you and killed. You wrecked them. Uh, and then you decided to take a long rest there. Which um, unfortunately means this is the third day in Arison, uh, is gone. Uh, oh, correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and... God damn it, Virus. Uh, I'm sorry. You were going to, I believe, explore the amphitheater in the morning. Uh, so I don't think you've done that yet. Uh, uh, didn't we explore it before and find a helm of telepathy? Okay, well, yeah, if, we, you have we the helm of, if you have the helm of telepathy, then you've already explored it. Uh, yeah, we did. We yeah. explored it because I, I got that nice, nice helmet. Good to know. Excellent. Oh, that's right. I remember giving you the helmet. Okay. Um, so, uh, Virus cast this spell and created a giant spiked fortress for you to live in uh, overnight. You can take your rest. Um, Blade in the Grass, I assume, would sleep in the dojo to get the extra five feet of movement. 
uh, Istrak is also sleeping in the dojo tonight. I think so would Sir Damrik. Alright. Yeah. I'll chill uh, into chapel, it's okay. I'll take so one. As you all wake up uh, the next day, uh, Sir Damrik, Istrak, and Blade, you find that you feel especially swift and have gained five feet of movement. And as uh, uh, you For walk the next 24 out, hours. Uh, correct. Uh, the uh, the fortress persists because it stays around for 24 hours, so it won't collapse to dust back into glass dust until uh, it's nighttime again. Uh, but you all come out, and it is raining very lightly. It's really just kind of a kind of a lovely day. Um, as as Chultan days go, you're getting used to the rain, uh, and this is maybe the lightest rain you've had in a couple of days. Uh, where would you like to go? Okay, so from here we've we've done twelve, right? We did twelve last time and eleven. Let me go ahead and mark those off because we forgot to do that. We did, 12. did twelve, did eleven. That uh, missed and I do we don't do like twelve? That. I don't think you did them. You skipped them. Because did we? Yeah, we did. We did, we did eleven. Eight, ten. Yeah, we, we did, did eleven like, for sure. Yeah. No, I don't think we did eleven. No, no, no. We, we definitely did eleven. Eleven with the camp, and we faced red right wizards no. there. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. That's not eleven. Uh, is it not? That oh. is uh, uh. That is nine. Nine is the red wizards. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You didn't do 11 or 12. You ran past the Yeah, we didn't do 11 or 12, though. Okay, so we'll yeah. go to... You all 11? do 11, 12, 14? Let's go to 11. Uh, 12 is another temple. 11, yeah. then. We'll go yeah, check let's out do 11. 11. I'm okay. cool with 11. Let's see how long it takes you. It takes five minutes to travel 200 feet. Yeah. 15 all right. Minutes. Uh, so about 15 minutes, uh, you bet, and you arrive in area 11. An overturned wagon lies on the street ahead. Rotting flower petals litter the ground around it, and bees nest in its broken wheels. A freshly cut garland of jungle flowers hangs from the wagon's tongue. As you approach uh, what kind the of cart, bees are these? As you approach the cart, you notice that, uh... Uh, it's unusually lush and full of life. Are these like honeybees, yellow jackets, hornets? Like, what do they what do they look like? Make a uh, oh, God. Is that mm. survival. Mm. Make a make a nature check. Nature, oh boy! I'm not great at those, so let's it, see what. Why I is get. that on there? Oh, because it's it's just a six. Uh, they appear to be bees. <laughs> cool, they're bees. He says it's unusually lush. Um, yes. I mean, I'll be speaking. I'll say, hey, maybe what's it's up maybe with lean. the lushness? And buzz, buzz, motherfucker. Buzz, buzz, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. So Virus goes, and you see, uh, Blade the eyes bees. With concern. <laughs> you see the bees <laughs> around, uh, sort of fly over and begin to buzz around. Uh, around Virus's head. Uh, it's hard to make sense of what they're saying to you because they are, they're all talking at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you hear, uh, uh, yeah, there's, 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 the, there's the spirit, and then sometimes there's the disc, and then it lives here. And as they are talking in your mind, uh, a small creature steps out from under the wagon. Uh, does it look like the forest spirit that we encountered before? It does look like the forest spirit that you encountered before. Nice. Okay. Um. Uh, and it, uh, it greets you and says, why are Hello. you in my house? I don't know oh, if it's sorry. common, actually. Let me look. Uh, it does not. What is I'm, hmm? uh, do any of us recognize the creature? Yeah, it's uh, the forest spirit. You, recon- we... you all recognize it as a Twinga, which is a forest spirit. Okay. They're not malevolent. They're just mischievous. Okay. 
Uh, uh, it are, cannot speak. We are but merely. You... It cannot speak, so it's use. It's talking through the bees, and the bees are saying mm -hmm. this to Virus. Cool. Um, okay, we're... cool. So none of us, the rest of us. <laughs> no. Correct. Yeah, Virus will have to translate. Oh, I'll I'll translate. We're here looking around trying to stop the Soulmonger. Uh, we've been trying to find these puzzle cubes. Uh, you know, we've we've had this wonderful fellow, and he'll indicate our old man guide that's been with us helping us along finding these puzzle cubes and this was a uh, marked on one of the maps that we had looked through that could be a place of interest um do you know if there's a puzzle cube around here uh he does not uh however he beckons to you to come closer to his cart. Uh, so the Twinga points beneath his wagon and gestures mm -hmm. that you should look. Okay. Um, uh, a moss-covered oh, stone disc lies half buried in the mud underneath the wagon. Concentric rings of inscriptions cover its surface. Some written in common and others etched in jagged cuneiform. Uh, Virus, you can now read all writing. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know that it says the same thing in both languages. It reads, Queen Napaka proclaims that the free people of Omu fear nothing. Brave new gods protect us as Ubtau did before, but does no longer. Omu will rise again and Napaka shall reclaim all that is hers by right of conquest. Mm. Uh, the Trigo offers the tablet to you uh as a gift for visiting its wagon uh and you could use it now to translate old omuan into common but you no longer need to because virus can <laughs> read it i will still take it and in return i'll offer him a choice between the electrum platter uh the ruby we have one ruby and some of the dragon scales uh, he takes the ruby and scurries back under the wagon. Okay. And Virus will put down, like, some, some rations as well, just to, you know, have, just so he can have uh, just some some little rations. You bet. Because he's cool. Absolutely. And, you know, he'll, he'll turn around and he's like, oh, right, sorry. So this tablet kind of helps explain Odo Muin and how to translate it into common. Uh, it's all done in cuneiform pictographs, all that good stuff. Well, everybody else can read the common part, because it's written in yeah. common. So, if you guys need to take a look at that, and, you know, learn from it, I'm sure... So it's like a Rosetta Orvex Stone. Is, yeah, it's like a Rosetta Stone. It's a Rosetta I'm sure Stone, Orvex yeah. is, is, in, is intrigued by that, isn't he? Oh, yes, yes. This would be very useful in our research. We can learn about some of the, the strange dialects of Old Omu and Orvex takes the stone. Yeah, that's fine. I'll let him have it. Surprise, all he wanted was the ruby. If he dies, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Let's not plan out the deaths of our of our friends, Sir Navrick. Uh So we have one and two buildings that we're going to explore. Very cool. Yeah. We'll go yeah, to good. this one first. Uh, who has passive perception above 12? Me. 14 here. If uh, probably. Uh, yeah, so all of you except has Virus. 18 passive. All of you except Virus uh, smell a large group of ghasts and ghouls approaching from inside the ruin. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they actually are surprised by you, uh, I'm gonna say that, and so you could ambush them if you want. Alright, so you have a surprise round, you see these ghouls sort of milling about inside of this, uh, building, and as you look in, you see that this boy right here, uh, it appears to be leading the group, and, um, is... 
uh, has a by now familiar blue rune inscribed on his forehead. Uh, Istrak, you recognize it as the symbol of Rosnasi. All right. Uh, Istrak, you are first out. Um, Istrak uh, holds up his uh, right hand and uh, from underneath the glove see a a blue light shine and then at the contingent of ghouls and a massive cone of cold <laughs> fuse out. That's amazing. All right, let's see. Uh, it's D317, sorry, I need to correct. Sure. So, Two um... Yeah, two of the ghouls passed. Uh, <laughs> half of 39 is, what, 18? Uh, 19? 19. Uh, 19. Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, so these two ghouls in front of you that turned to look at you uh, had just enough time to dip slightly out of the way. Uh, but the rest of them, including the ghast at the back, are turned completely to chunks of ice and die. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this ghoul uh, loses the surprise condition and can now take Jeez. reactions. And then ruin everybody Blade. else's fun. Blade. Your spells uh, are mad powerful. <laughs> like, his eyes are wide at what he just witnessed. Um, and it takes him a minute to come back to reality, and then he's gonna shoot this one in the face. Sure. Uh, and I believe I get the sneak attack. Uh, you Eight do get the sneak attack. Uh, you also have advantage, because you're attacking. Uh, no you don't. Uh, uh, but an 18 will hit, and you, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter, your crossbow bolt, like, liquefies this thing's head. Oh, by the way, uh, Matt, can I recover my, uh, all the bolts that I shoot, uh, or... You could recover up to half of them. Up to half of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you moving? Or are you just gonna stay there? I'm just gonna stay, well, yeah, I'm gonna move into the room, uh... Are you sure about mm. that? Actually, no, I'm not sure about that. So I'm just going to scoot right there, and that'll be that. Sure. <laughs> you yeah, damn right. We all know what time it is. Huh? So anyways, I started blasting. Blast. There's you, the first blast. Your blast liquefies the ghoul, and it dies. And that brings oh, us out of initiative. <laughs> Oh, Sir Davrick just wants to run around with his extra five feet of movement. He's he just excited. Sir Davrick runs in circles. <laughs> I didn't even get to use my new toy. <laughs> uh, um. On the... Uh, on the ghast, you find a crude map uh, on drawn on dinosaur hide. Showing a route to Port Nianzaru and the location of a new landmark, which I will drag nice. you to a map that you haven't looked at for a while, because we haven't needed to, uh, and we'll uh, we'll unload some uh, gas, oh, right? From the gas, yeah. Look, we have come. Oh, can we go back and nuke Camp Vengeance? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, so want to talk about, I don't want to talk about Camp Vengeance. I, I, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> My patron might have some choice words if I do. Yeah, that, I yeah. mean, that's that's a you thing to say. You would probably get, yeah. I, I couldn't not, in Virus, even though he does not like the man in charge, would not go deus volt the entire camp. So, uh, here is what you see uh, on your dinosaur map. Uh, you can see a clear path that follows the river for a ways. Can you guys see the line that I'm drawing on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. 
It's up top. Roll 20. Yeah, I'm looking up top. Oh, roll it, 20. It oh, okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. All right. All right. So, down the river from Port Nianzaru. Uh-huh. Uh, and then, uh, right about where you know Yell Yark to be, uh, it leaves... And it goes this way. And then it also has this thing marked on it. Uh, a lo- location called Oralunga. Uh, Is that all it says? Just the location doesn't show any, any special markings around the name? Uh, there are no special markings around the name. Uh, one of you make me history or nature check. I don't care which one. (laughs) So, Sir Daverick, with that history check, um, you, you all found, I don't know how much you heard, but you found a, uh, 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 a map on this ghast, uh, made of dinosaur hide with a path to, from... Port Nianzaru to Oralunga. Uh, and um, the and history check was to determine whether you knew what Oralunga was. Uh, and you tell your party that uh, uh, Oralunga is a an ancient crumbling ziggurat. Uh, and that it is guarded by uh, a very old forest spirit that takes the form of a large green snake. Very interesting. That is interesting. That's, that might be something we can go do after we finish up this uh, soulmonger business. But you guys have now cleared this building. Nice. Oh, that was the wrong color, but that's okay. Uh, you also yeah, wanted that. to do this one. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, it is now... You woke up probably around sunrise, so probably around 7 o'clock. Took you about 15 minutes to get to Area 11. You spent an hour talking to the Chwinga and examining the tablet. Uh, then you took another five minutes or so to walk over to this building. Uh, so it's, it's probably almost nine o'clock in the morning at this point uh and let's see what we get in the next building uh somebody roll me a d4 please there (laughs) you as you enter this room uh you see uh, looking up two medium sized monkey looking creatures hanging upside down from the ceiling watching you. Huh. Uh, Do you recognize what they are? Make a nature check if you want to try and recognize what they are. I absolutely would not recognize these things. Wow. Uh, Isthrak, you recognize that they are not undead, but you don't know exactly what they are. Uh, and they both drop to the ground uh, and approach you, but they are being very cautious. All right. I hear this little bee speech and say hello. If they um, respond to it. I don't know if they're sentient or not, uh, but he'll use bee speech and try to. Gotta love those at-wills. Uh, they do not speak a language, uh, because they're beasts, uh, Mm -hmm. but they are, uh, 
they respond, Hello, why are you here? We're exploring the lands. Is this your home? This is our home. As they're talking, well. they are inching closer to you. So, they look like that. Yeah. Uh, and they are... Uh, you said they're not undead? They're not undead. What they the are fuck? They are slowly inching toward you. Uh, oh, fuck. And I need everybody to roll initiative, please. Yeah. Uh, you are all surprised then. Virus, you lose the, per the surprise it. condition to take God the action. damn it! Uh, and then, uh, the Sioux monster that was talking to you, uh, expands its mind and attempts to crush yours. How are they able to surprise us when we're watching them inch closer to us? Uh, because you don't, he, he's not attacking with a melee weapon. He's attacking with his mind. Okay, that must... Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, he's... Virus was just talking to him. He was just talking to Virus, and then all of a sudden, okay. he tries to crush Virus' mind. Uh... Okay, and this is just going to me, or is this everybody? That is just you. Uh, targets one creature it can see within 30 feet of it. Yep, that's just you. Okay, do I take half damage or anything? Uh, or... um... Uh... Make the, make the save. Yeah, I did. I got it. You succeed? Did I show up? Uh, yeah. it, did, it just did now. Uh, you succeed and take no damage and are not stunned. Because uh, it would say if you took half damage if you did. Oh, uh, okay, I wanted to be sure. Uh, Istrak, you lose the surprise condition and, are, and can take reactions. Blade in the Grass, you lose the surprise condition and can take reactions. Sir Dabrick, you lose the surprise condition and can take reactions. This Sioux monster uh, tries to crush Virus' mind again. <laughs> Saves again. No. All right. So both of them have used their psychic crush and are unlikely to survive the first, the next round of this encounter. So. so. <laughs> uh, and we are back to the top of the order with Virus. Two yeah, of these things 20, have just they're tried within to 20 crush feet of each you. other. Yeah, they absolutely are. Oh man. Virus just looks as like, I didn't want to have to do this. So, um, let me see. I think I can get both of them. Yeah, if I target, like, right here. In what are you the trying to cast? With what are you casting? Flame Strike. Oh. If I target, like, right there, I believe I can get both, both of uh, them. What's the radius on Flame Strike? <laughs> 10 feet, right? Within 10 feet, yeah, of the, of the center. So I think from there I can hit both of them. It's up oh, to you, though. For sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate my uh, <laughs> oh, radiant oh. soul. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, Are they both dead? <laughs> uh, they might be. Let's see if they save first. Okay. Uh, they both die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so these now two Virus Sioux monsters, these two Sioux monsters, reach out and try and crush Virus's mind. And Virus responds by calling down the fury of the heavens, and they're surrounded by this column of white and yellow flame. Uh, they scream and then both die. And that brings us out of initiative. Now remember, kids, this is why you're always nice to your guests when they come to your home. Uh, oh, okay, then. They, they can probably nothing. call down flame strike on you. <laughs> yeah. They, they drop nothing. Yeah, I think I incinerated it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to use that spell for a week. Uh, all right, cool, good. Yeah, you have cleared out that space as well. Oh, fuck. All right, do we want to go to 12 now? Yeah. No. No, why not? Blade wanted to. Uh, we, yeah, we just did those. Yeah, we Blade just did those. is oh, a little, little slow right now. Please. Oh, forget. sorry. I forgot. No I forgot. You just came back. That's my fault. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, it was slow. You. Uh, so I mean, yeah. So you're gonna go back out to the road. Yep. Nah, let's Unless go to this house. 
Yeah, oh, does, okay. does that look like it leads through? So you're gonna or... go. You're gonna go. Oh god, I have the radius on. Hang on. So you're gonna go oh. through this house and then to twelve. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. And then goes we can go through. here. Then we can go through this road and then go. To 15, 15, 14. 14. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's a pretty big building. Let's do a couple of random encounters in there. One. Uh. You don't know. You roll anything. like a D six to uh, determine the encounter. I've got yeah. I've got a button that that okay. it's, they're all set up in a table for me, and so I just mm -hmm. click a button and it rolls one. Uh, you don't notice it. Does anybody have the ability to see invisible things like naturally? Mm, no. That would be true sight, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, actually, the pseudo dragon. Yeah. The pseudo dragon uh, have. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, I believe. Yeah. yeah, she has it. Uh, so, uh, sugar begins yeah, blind sight, ten feet. to do some unusual aerial acrobatics with mm -hmm. something you can't see. You're being followed by an invisible green fairy dragon, uh, through the rest of this building. Okay. Uh, and then, as you walk into the back building, uh, you come across two more Sioux monsters hanging from the ceiling of a, of a room. No they words, to, only actions. Elders they, Blast. <laughs> up to the floor yeah. and begin to approach, and I assume you all immediately pepper them with attacks and they die. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, uh... Yeah, you definitely surprised them, and they don't have enough hit points to survive a full round from all of you. <laughs> all I'm, right. so, I'm so sorry, Frog. Uh, and you don't be sorry. You guys are, are powerful enough to actually maybe survive in the tomb now. Um, Nothing off those bodies. Uh, oh, yeah, I suppose I could roll treasure for you. Uh, you find a Batiri Goblin Mask made of painted wood. Set with nine gemstones. Cool. It looks like each of the nine gemstones is worth about ten gold. And then you make nice. your way through uh, the dense wood at the back of this building. Out into the clearing and you see in front of you area 12. Uh, which is a, a, a shrine. Carvings of monkeys hanging by their tails decorate two cracked obelisks that stand before a shrine enclosed by broken walls. Past the obelisks is a courtyard filled with horse tails and arum lilies. Five archways open into darkness at the base of the ruin. Mounted above the central arch is a stone plaque bearing a cuneiform inscription. Uh, the inscription, Beerus, reads, Better to be Wongo's friend than his enemy. Better to be Wongo's friend than his enemy. Who's Wongo? He, he's he's one of the nine gods of Omu. So he, what does he specialize in? You know, the other ones have all had like a, a shtick to him. Uh, Wongo is a Sioux monster. <sighs> <sighs> Better we be his friend than his enemy. Well, not off to a great start there, huh? Nope. <laughs> After having my mind attempt to be psychic crushed. Uh, are these all random rolls and we just happen to have two Sioux encounter uh, Sioux monster encounters? You just happen to have two Sioux monster encounters yeah. right back yeah, to back. That's, it fits that's yeah. just the freaking D&D's dice. It's just yeah. stupid. It's just crazy. Oh, and think about it. We, we had encounters with snakes before the snakes. We yeah. had the Jakuli <laughs> before the Jakuli. That's true. Um, you know, we, we've had all these encounters lead up to whether we had the giant frog monster in We had those temple. giant undead gorillas pinning us down on that uh, in the heart of Uptow. Yeah, well, we this is all fit, and it's it's wonderful when it all works out, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just all glad right. that I had Blade during that encounter, because I don't think, or Belthias, because I don't think Blade could have done as well. <laughs> all right, uh, let's bring you all to the map 
It surely can't be so simple as just walk straight, can it? No. Uh, alright, so you see the obelisks. None of you have passed between them yet. Uh, yes, these things here are the obelisks. Better to be his friend than his enemy. Okay. Uh, I don't... Did I don't know if we would have known to not walk through, right? Uh, no, you probably wouldn't yeah. have. Yeah. Uh, so as you walk through, uh, between them, your heads are filled with a cacophony of shrieking monkeys. Uh, as soon as you step completely through the doorway, uh, the cacophony fades. It's not harmful, uh, just annoying and very loud. Oh. Sorry, I'll get to the other side. God, sorry. Uh, I don't know how he expects us to be his friend after that. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can't just mind rape somebody. And... Uh, yeah, you no. do see... Can You You guys can see into the chamber, right? I I've see this little sliver. Yeah. yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh, so the... Um, the... Obelisk. Sorry, uh, a ten-foot-tall statue of a uh, a ten-foot-tall stone statue of an evil-looking monkey balances on its tail atop a stone dais in the middle of this twenty-foot-high chamber. The statue's limbs are splayed, with hands and feet cupped. On the wall behind, a sculpted relief shows a monkey-like creature tearing into a giant serpent. Cuneiform inscriptions are carved above and below the relief. Four of the masks of painted stone protrude from the walls. They depict the heads of a lion, a zebra, a boar, and a vulture. Hey, Orvex. Um, the, I'm sorry. The the Omu and Trickster gods, you know, they're, they're something. Did Wago have friends with any of them in particular? Who? Oh, uh, well... He hated Moa. The the and Moa is the snake god. Yeah, yes. the Jakuli. Moa was the snake. The Jakuli. Okay, so he hated the Jakuli, right? So, who, do you know if he was friendly with any of the other ones? Oh, that'd no. be like religion, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think he was. Yeah. Uh, Orvex would know, and he would tell you that he doesn't. Uh, that he doesn't think there was. Laid, uh, Is there a Jaguli uh, on here? Uh, a Jaguli. Lion, zebra, board, vulture. Correct. Lion, zebra, board, vulture. Okay. What did the... You mentioned something about inscriptions. Did they say anything? Uh, so... You bet. Uh, so, let me add... Uh, which of the masks would you like to... Uh, which of the masks would you like to look into, or would you like to read the inscription above? Uh, okay, can we go what's like written on all of them? Or that, that's what yeah, I'm. I can, that's I that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Varus, which one he wants to read? We'll start with we'll start with with the lion with the lion here first uh, up here top left. Uh, so the lion's inscription says, "I ate one of the boar's friends." All right, we're going to go down to this right. one. Uh, what's this one? Uh, the one directly to my left, this uh, one right uh, here. I think that's... Sure, the, the boar. Yeah, B boar. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this one says the vulture is lucky to be alive. Okay, we'll go to the zebra next. This one says my only friend starved to death. And the vulture. Uh, this one says one of the others has no friends. Um, and you notice that as you look at these masks, uh, through the eye holes which are open, you can see the corridors that um, uh, that you saw entrances to outside the building. Mm-hmm. Do these um, masks have gems on them? Uh, or are they, they just plain masks? They are just masks. 
Okay, so they don't uh, they don't look anything like the goblin mask we found earlier. Uh, no. Uh. Uh-uh. uh Okay. There's no other inscriptions in this room. Mm-hmm. Um. Like on the pedestal or anything over here. Sure. Uh, oh yes, there puzzle. is. Uh, so, Virus, as you look at the base of the statue, you find uh, an inscription in Old Omuan that reads, <coughs> Wongo's friend knows where to pour the water. And that's on the monkey in the middle? That's on the pedestal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Wongo's friend knows where to point. One of pour, these pour the animals is Wongo's friend. Okay, so one of these animals is Wongo's friend. Can you? We have a the... lion. A we have a lion, a boar, a what is the Z? A zebra. A zebra and a, a vulture. And a vulture. vulture. Okay. So it w- definitely not the zebra because the zebra was something like my only friend is dead. Is that what it said? My only friend is dead. Uh, it said my only friend yeah. starved to death. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so it's most likely not the zebra. And then what are the lions and the boars? lion says I ate one of the and... boar's friends. And the boar okay. says the lion is lucky to be alive. The right? vulture is lucky to or be alive. The vulture is lucky to be alive. Correct. And the vulture says uh, one of the others has no friends. Which uh, is the zebra, Z right? Is the only one that yeah. has no friends. So the zebra has no friends. So it's not him, mm-hmm. right? The lion ate one of the boar's friends. And Wongo's friend knows where to pour the boar. Hmm. Is there like a bowl of water or something at the base of you, these masks? There is not. You feel like you could probably look through the masks from the other side, though. I'm going to um, go out and look through the mask on the uh, zebra side. Sure. Because uh, so I, I don't know. I just... Go ahead, go ahead and I move yourself that feeling. way. There you go. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Is, uh, is as, it the tile behind or the tile on? As you look through the zebra as mask... Right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see a ray of blue light falling onto the right foot of the statue. Okay. Um. Laid asks if there sees anything. Yeah, there's a, a thing of blue light on the statue's right foot. You said right foot, correct? I did say right foot. Yeah, on the right Laid, foot. Laid, uh, would like to go look through... This mask, the boar. The boar. I'll take a step back. When I step okay. back, does anything happen? Uh, you just can't see the light anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna go back inside then to wait. All right. So, uh, blade, you stepped through. You're looking through the boar mask. Uh, you see mm-hmm. a ray of blue light falling onto the left foot in of the statue. The zebra was the right foot, right? The zebra was the right foot. Okay. Blade uh, tells Varus and everybody else that uh, this mask shows a, bl- a beam of light on the statue's left foot, and it is blue. Sir Dever will go to the line and do look through the mask. Right, I'm going to move sure. back in. Uh, Sir Daverick, you see uh, a ray of blue light falling onto the right hand of the statue. Is Thrak, do you want to check the vulture? Uh, so, I go here. Uh, so, Is Thrak, as you look through the vulture mask, you see a ray of blue light falling onto the left hand of the statue. Okay, what so if all have... four look through the mask at the same time? I wonder. Uh, if, if each of you looks through uh, yeah. one mask at the same time, feel like those beams are pointing at something. They might intersect at yeah, some point. Uh, you some see, point. each of you still sees the one beam that I describe uh, pointing at the limb that I described. The lion beam, 
whoever's looking through the lion masks sees... Left hand, uh, right hand, the, left foot, yep. right foot. Correct. Yep. We've got to figure out this little word puzzle. Yeah, this is this, a this logic puzzle. That's and so then I feel like I've seen this before in a video game somewhere. I so we have, think we have we have we have four options. We have well, we we have three right options because right we've hand. eliminated one. Yeah, it's not the zebra. Yeah, we've eliminated. Yeah, we one. eliminated the zebra. All right, the so let's just the zebra was like one of the right. The lion yeah, ate one right of the foot. boar's friends. The boar's friend. Uh, the boar and the zebra could have the same friend. We don't know that, but it's possible. Zebra. No, because the zebra's friend starved to oh. death, whereas the lion ate the boar's friend. Yes. So they can't be the same friend. So I'm thinking it could be either the lion or the vulture. Yeah, I'm thinking lion or vulture, too. <laughs> So, can you give us a line inscription again, please? Uh, sure. Uh, the lion... The, lion uh, the inscription... The, boar's the inscription friends. above the lion's mask reads, I ate one of the boar's friends. friends. And yeah. the vulture's mask... Is... The inscription above the vulture's mask reads... One of the others reads, has no friends. Correct. One of the others has no friends. Um... If you so, um, it has to be the vulture. It has to be the vulture because so the lion ate the boar's friend, which mm -hmm. the boar had a friend. The zebra's friend starved to death, which means the zebra had a friend. And then the vulture says that one of the other has no friend. And since both the boar and the zebra have a friend, therefore the lion has to have no friend. Which makes Zebra Wongo's friend. Say that again. Okay, so... Confirmed that both the boar and the zebra have friends. Because we know how the boar's friend dies. And we know how the zebra's friend dies. Yeah. Boar's friend got okay. hit. Zebra's friend started death. Eight. Exactly. And then the vulture's clue is that one of the others has no friends. Since we know that the boar had a friend, and since we know that the zebra had a friend, the, the only other animal who could have no friends is the lion. And since the lion has no friends, he could not be Wongo's friend, which leaves only the vulture left. I feel myself agreeing with you. My only uh, friend starved to death. The vulture is lucky to be alive. Yeah. I, I think it could be the vulture as well. I don't want to give it a shot. The vulture too. Yeah, so the vulture so was... Um, the vulture? Which, uh, which when we look through the vulture's mask, what happens? Uh, there's a ray of blue light falling on the left hand of the statue. Who and wants to do it? My ghost friend knows where to pour the water. Who All wants right, to pour so the water? Let's pour water on the left hand. Left hand. Do we want to leave uh, first, just in case something happens? As you pour water on the left hand, uh, a puzzle cube appears in the <sighs> left hand, and you all nice. hear, Good and job. God, and you all hear. I'm not done. You all hear in your mind. Take the prize and curse your friends, or fight my children to claim it. What is your choice? Fight. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sitting here being cursed. We yeah, all heard fight. that. Uh, who poured the? Who, the only person who heard it was the one who poured the water. Okay. Um. I think that was. Would that be Israk? I think that was yeah. probably Israk. Yeah. I think so as well. Uh, Israk is fairly confident in the combat potential of this crew. Sure. Uh, uh and so, uh, upon hearing that, he's going to. Uh, say, prepare yourselves for trouble, or arm yourselves to the others. Uh, you bet. As you do that, uh, some friends appear. Uh, you hear Portcullis's slam shut, as the other chambers are now blocked. Had you not done that, you would not have been able to. Hmm. Nice. Well, I'm confident Istak could have handled these four on his own. <laughs> 
Yeah. Since he killed like wait, what was it? A bunch seven of, of them and in guests. one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In seven ghouls uh, and gas in one shot. Everybody roll initiative. Nobody. I mean, it's that. really, it's really hey. about initiative. True. True. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Give him the business, Varus. Uh, all right. Uh, Varus, you are first to act as these two monsters appear and cling to the statue of... Oh, uh, God. Wongo, Isthrak, the I'm monster. sorry. Isthrak, I'm sorry. Okay. I know what I must do, but I don't know if I'm strong enough to do it. <laughs> are you going to wall of fire me? Oh, my God. No, I'm flame striking. Oh, can, my God. Okay. Can you survive 8d6? Uh, probably. <laughs> okay. And I'm centering it right here in the middle. So I believe that's well within 10 foot radius, isn't it? Yo, everyone's caught in that. You're going yeah. to play. Yeah. Everyone is caught in that. Yeah. 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 We're all within this room. Why I'm just you, nuking us no, all. If you put it here, if, oh my. Oh, if, yeah, I guess I'd put it here. Would it reach on this block? 10. 10 like, yeah, if I, here. If I put it, mm. Mm, it wouldn't reach the back too. Uh, if you want to hit, hit all four of them, you need to center it on the on the statue. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing I mean, it. Yeah, I'd be willing I'm to eat a flame strike for so, this. Uh, so <laughs> it will not hit. Uh, well, they're not hit even Beerus. strong enough. It'll hit Beerus it and Sir Davrick. Uh It won't mm -hmm. hit Blade in the Grass. Uh, you are save. also flame striking the puzzle cube, though, that you know you're going to need later. That's going to break Ooh. it? Is that gonna break it? Well, I mean, it doesn't explicitly. You don't say know. It, it doesn't explicitly say that it won't. <laughs> but it doesn't uh, explicitly say that it will. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, the well, puzzle cube. There are only four enemies. There are uh, only the, four enemies. The puzzle cube. Uh, you could, you don't run. need to flame strike. Yeah, yeah you're right. I, I I'll, I'll you just blast. I'll, I'll blast. I guess. The puzzle um, cubes are not magical on their own, so I oh. am not confident that they would that they would be able to. Would you uh, have to make a roll for uh, to determine whether or not uh, they break? No, they are objects, so they have an AC of fifteen and ten hit points. Yeah, let's not do that then. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blight the dude in front of me then. So DC sixteen con save for half, or they take forty damage. Uh, okay, sure. Is that right? He, he takes 40 blight damage. Uh, he dies. Okay. That's my turn. Uh, this Sue monster here looks at uh, Blade in the Grass. And I need a wisdom save, please. Mm, I'm not awesome at those. So... Damn. Uh, Blade in the Grass, you take 20 psychic damage and are stunned for a minute. Can I use uncanny... No, I can't use... Uh, uh, you, you know, it's not no, an effect yeah, that you can no. see. <sighs> Alright. Uh, uh, and then... So that one doesn't have its psychic crush. Sir Dabrick. Um, I would strike... At the one in front of me, I guess I would look over at Blade in the Grass and say, "What the fuck's wrong with him?" And then <laughs> Blade, Blade is... does not respond. He Blade is, is drooling. Uh, that will hit Beast Boy <laughs> uh, for fourteen slashing. Uh, he is still up, but looking very rough. Uh, he is still up, but looking even more rough. He has two large gashes through his body. Isthrak, it is your turn. Could I add superiority die? To uh, you absolutely can. Yeah. What would you like it's, to uh, use? You bet. I could uh, add it. To, I could add it after I know I hit the attack. So for sure. Uh, what superiority ability are you using? Oh, it would be a precision attack. Just just to do more damage. Oh, just to do more damage. Uh, that is enough to kill it. You chop it into into two pieces. Uh, cool. Isthrak, it is your turn. All right, I will cast. Uh, oh, I do not have. Oh, yes, I do. All right, I will cast. 
uh, shocking grasp. Sure. For absolute terrible damage. <laughs> That's not That's good damage, thing. but it definitely hits. Uh, and you see electricity right. burst this thing's fur out like it stuck its finger in a socket. <laughs> All right, and now it has no. Um, it has uh, no reaction, so, so I'm going to walk away. over yep. here. Yep. And then. And I'm going to spend a sorcery point, quicken an eldritch blast <laughs> at the other one. Sure. Who just done a, a blade in the grass? Sure. So. Uh, those will both hit for 13 damage, uh, and you see, push, push, as two eldritch blasts sort of knock this Sioux monster off of its grip on the statue. Um, and it uh, um, uh, looks at you malevolently. So, does that knock it prone or? Uh, no. Um, okay. Uh, frog. So yes. each of those actually deal. Uh, it does eight extra damage because my eldritch blast doesn't have my charisma bot added to it yet. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's even more unhappy. Uh, it's still not dead, but it's even more unhappy. Uh, very yeah. good. Uh, Blade in the Grass, at the end of your turn, you can make another wisdom save. Um, still not great at those. You <laughs> succeed! You are no longer stunned. Uh, and you look around and realize that uh, your turn has passed you by. Uh, and the other Sioux monster looks at you and forces you to make another one. <laughs> And you are again stunned for a minute. Oh, 21 damage! And, another, and you take 21 points of psychic damage. Oh, Ouch. That's pretty fucking funny. Uh, Veers, it's your turn. We gonna start blasting? Um, sure. I'm gonna blast this boy. Hey, you can flame strike me. now. No, I, I don't have a spell slot. I don't have a spell slot. flame strike now. <laughs> Uh, okay, your Elder's Blast, do it. That does it. That You hit it. This one is the one you hit? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not dead. Okay, and eh, that one, I don't think that one hits. Uh, um, that one misses. How's Blade in the Grass looking on health? Blade in the Grass is looking pretty fucked up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and He's expend four of my healing lights. Go ahead and do that for you, buddy. Four? Yeah. Because I, I, it's 46. So you're gonna get eleven. Uh, uh, you're gonna get fifteen because the plus four for healing spells. Take it. So it's it's not great, but it's it's something. I'm assuming that does that won't apply for each die. That uh, would no, be a just, little much. just yeah, just once. Yeah, total result. Three. All right. Uh, this Sioux monster rolls to see if it gets its uh, thing back. It does not. Uh, so instead. Uh, it runs up to Blade in the Grass, who is currently incapacitated, uh, oh and attacks him with advantage. Uh, and so and it's is... because I'm stunned? Uh, you're correct. Oh. Uh, and it uh, attacks you with its claws. Uh, once. 15 hit. to hit. That hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you take 8 points of slashing, and then it bites you in the shoulder. Yes. Uh, it has advantage. Wait, it has advantage. So Fuck. another six points of piercing. Uh, Sir Deverick. Just eight. Okay, I'll, I'll run up. I just got. You still got one extra point. Don't worry. Yeah, one extra. <laughs> run up to the monkey next. That's beating on a uh, blade in the grass and. Sure. Give him, give him the what for. Business. Give him the crop. Uh, that'll hit, and that'll Bob. do it. You cut through him, and he dies. And I'll run over to this one and smack him. You bet. And with that, you cut through that one, and he also dies. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, blade, blade in the Grass, you are still stunned for a minute. Uh, you could wait out mm -hmm. the minute, but you get a save at the end of every one of your turns. Uh, so just okay. make wisdom saves until you get an 11. Okay. There you go. Well, you immediately come out of it and realize that all of the Sioux monsters are lying dead on the ground. The puzzle cube is still held in the hand. Sir Davrick is able to grab it. And that gives you the puzzle cube of Wongo as well. Nice. 
blade in a uh, little moment of petulant uh, anger steps onto the crotch of the fallen sea monster. Ben steps on his head over the body and walks over to Sadevic and examines the puzzle cube. Sure. And then he just thanks Sir Devrick and walks out, clearly pissed off. Do you want some more healing? Uh, I'll, toss mm, I'll toss you another d6. I'll toss you another d6. I'd rather... Mm, uh, Why well, can just do one? All right, I'm not going to refuse four. that, so I thank you. Uh, it is now about noon. So you get eight hit points back. Uh, and we have... Should... Our sixth puzzle cube. Uh, and you, yes, you now have six puzzle cubes. We'll take a short rest here, because I, mm -hmm. one, need spell slots, and I believe you need to get your hit die back at least. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna, oh wait, though, I, we had a long rest earlier, so I get all my well, hit die back at just one. Uh, so you get up, so on a long rest, you can re, you regain up to half of your hit dice rounded up. So if you spent okay, so all of them, you can get up to half of them. Nine. Yeah, so you would be able to get all your hit dice back. Okay, okay, nine. Uh, okay. Let's take a like five-minute IRL break while you guys short rest, okay. and sure. I need to go to the bathroom, and then we can Spend two continue. hit die. So I believe you should be back at Omu now. I'm wrong. Looking at my uh, not on my view. screen. All right, so now you're back in Omu, uh, and you have the puzzle cube oh, from shrine number twelve. Fifteen or fourteen yet? Which one yeah. do you want to do next? Fourteen is the next uh, number. Yep, let's go for let's go. Fifteen. Fourteen. True, fifteen is right here. Yeah, fifteen is like right, That's true. right here. That's true. That's true. Let's mm. head over to fifteen. All right. Yeah. It. I mean. All right. Yeah. Uh, it takes you about ten minutes to get over to number fifteen. There, five minutes or so. Uh, and. As you walk up, a derelict market hall stands on the street corner ahead. Frayed cloth awnings hang in tatters above a bro broad alley lined with stalls. Uh, are you searching the bazaar? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, probably. Uh, all right. Uh, so, this track will probably also. You bet. Yeah, uh, I think we'll all switch together, right? You bet. So let's have uh, uh, let's have each of you make a perception check. Alright. Uh, Ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> oh, baby, let's go. I don't know why that plus one's on there. Why is that Where is the plus one, plus on one coming from? What is oh, RFOS? the Roche, Roshis. It's, it's Roshis. Oh, Roshis. Was... Something is Swoldum or whatever. For, Fortress for... of Swoldum. Fortress of Swolitude. Swolitude. So it's right. a 20. You gotta love perception that advantage check of perception checks. Uh, 8, 11. Why do you have advantage on perception? Sugar helps with advantage. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I can, yeah, I can use her to get advantage on perception. So, uh, Virus and Blade, you each spot your traps uh, and are able to easily disarm them. Oh, no. Uh, Istrak <laughs> trap, and Davrik. Uh, <laughs> Istrak, uh, you step on a tile. And hear a click. Oh and... shit! I duck. Uh, do, does a twenty-two hit you? Uh, this isn't something I can cast shield for, right? Uh, you could cast shield. Sure, yeah, it's a it's does a your it's shield an shield give object. you plus five to AC, Emma? Yes. Okay, what's your yeah. AC? Uh, it's regularly 19, but it can go up to 24 with shield. Sure, so, M uh, so Istrak casts shield, 
Uh, and you watch as a vial of acid splashes against your shield. Would have done five points of acid damage to you. Uh, Sir Davrick, uh, you step on a plate, uh, on or step on a tile on the ground, also hear a click, and from above you, a basket tips over, and a uh, swarm of centipedes uh, falls on you. Oh no, Sir Davrick and his bad luck with bugs. <laughs> and, and attacks. Uh, it has 11 hit points. Uh, it will try and bite you, but probably miss. Bites at Sir Davrick. It misses. It misses. Misses. <laughs> Repost. Repost. Seven damage. Uh, have to three because it. No, you're. That's a magical weapon. Seven damage. Uh, and then you attack. I assume. Yeah. And you kill it. It <laughs> dies. You slice it. You slice it. You slice it. Fucking bugs, man. I hate fucking bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so much of that bug repellent doesn't seem to be helping much, does it? Uh, they just and... like. It must be all the sweat. They just <laughs> climb to me and. God, Sir Davrick, never, get, never get away. Sir Davrick, as you swing Bob at the last of the insects, you spot a kobold disappearing down a well-hidden staircase on the outskirts of the bazaar. I would let the party know. <sighs> Do we even want to bother with them? I mean, they're just kobolds. I mean, oh. why do we bother bother with Never anything? Never underestimate kobolds. Because a swarm can come out of nowhere, and we can get killed. Yeah, yeah. But, which is also why we don't want to go chasing them down a yeah. well-hidden yeah. staircase. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, the further we look into this building, do we get the sense that every inch of this is trapped? Uh, you're not in a building, you're in an open-air market. Or in the market, as we you know look further uh, into it, uh, you get, get the sense, sense that... you get the sense that there are probably other traps hidden. Yes, Virus is just like listen. I want if they've booby trapped, and... if they've booby trapped an open air market, wherever their hideout is, is going to be booby trapped to the like absolute uh, wazoo. Yeah, like. <laughs> Let us not take the bolts and just head out. Okay. Yeah, I agree. We should just leave and go hit up the next shrine, I guess. I'm all for more shrines. As you approach the uh, water, uh, anybody who has a passive perception above 12 sees two giant crocodiles rising out of the water just before they crawl up onto the onto the shore and attack you. Do those right. count as beasts or monstrosities? Uh, they are beasts. Okay. Everybody roll in. Best one I've ever seen. Okay. Ooh, the croc gators did not roll good. Uh... They have a lot of hit points, but they <laughs> still might not survive a round. Uh, okay. Uh, Istrak, you are first to act. Which is fitting, because you definitely saw these guys coming. Right? Your passive perception is like 17, isn't it? It's, uh, Istrak's is 18. 18 yeah. passive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you, could, you could see the ripples of these gators from 100 feet away. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, there are only two of them. So I'm going to, uh, spend a second. And now that's, that's dumb. I'm just going to, uh, cast two Eldritch Blasts, one quickened and one normal. Sure. So, uh, the one on the left. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, yeah. Everything at the one on the left. All right. Uh, 
right. Uh, so all of those will hit. Uh, and then I will move a good 25. Sure. Uh, so you do about half of that crocodile's da- uh, health to it in damage uh, in that one blast. Uh, and as you do so, uh, the rain picks up in intensity. Uh, Sir Dabrick. I will rush up to the one that uh, his track uh, threw his blast at and mag him with Bob. You bet. Bob, Bob, Bob. That'll hit. Uh, Seven points of slashing. We'll do it again. Add the superiority die to it. You bet. For another 13 points, so you, with two strikes, you deal uh, 20 points of damage to this crocodile and. Uh, red hot crocodile blood covers your your forearms. It is He's not still up? dead, but very close to death. But if my not. turn's not over. I'm going to action surge and try and take him out. Do it. Uh, uh, that'll no. miss, unfortunately. Oh, no. little bitch. We'll do it again. It's well my second attack. Yep. With the die. Uh, that'll hit 18 points of damage, uh, and you chop into him. Uh, and he is, one eye is barely open, and he is hanging on by a thread. Oop. That's my turn. All right, uh, Virus. Um, I'm just going to blast that one. Okay. Actually, no, no I'm just going to finish this one off, just just to be cruel more than anything. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I'll blast at him. Uh, where is my blast? There's my blast. That'll hit, and uh, with a blast, you send his corpse ragdolling back into the river, and he floats no, down the stream. Me. Damn it. Uh, the other one, does it still hit him, or do I? can I change targets with the second blast? Uh, you can change, change targets with the second blast. Okay, I'll, I'll aim at the other one then. Uh, That'll never, mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Flies wide. You got too excited. You were too worried about your crocodile meat, and you missed um, I'm gonna and apparently take a you step can't back as well. Targets. Oh, you can't. oh, really? Apparently you can't. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, I can't. Virus, you got, you're got too distracted. Blade in the grass. Uh, Blade's gonna run up. He's gonna stab. Uh, do I get sneak attack? I think I do. No. Uh, oh, maybe. There's something that allows a... me to get sneak attack yeah, without having a sw- the special swashbuck- shot. Swashbucklers I'm a have swashbuckler bullshit. Whoa. Hang so on. this guy's gonna what? take I'm looking. that. Oh, that's gonna miss. And then uh, he's gonna run back, not taking an off attack. And then he's gonna get this. Give him the business. The uh, fifteen for seven. I'll take the seven. All right. Uh, Twenty nine would have been nice, but oh well. Uh, you get the sneak attack uh, if you are within five <laughs> feet of it, and there are no other creatures within five feet of you. Uh, so you would have gotten that if you'd hit, but you didn't, so you didn't get it. Uh, but Rip. it takes a seven points of damage, uh, okay. and is sad. Uh, then as sad as I am. the giant Why crocodile sad? Uh, follows you. You really see it charging that, for you. If you've ever seen a crocodile attack in real life, they move like very vicious. slowly. Uh, until they get to you. Until they don't, and then they are suddenly somewhere else. That's what happens, and then suddenly this crocodile's right in front of you. Uh, and the first thing it does is hit you with its tail. Uh, hit. All right, uh, so you take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need a strength uh, save, two. please. Uh, what was that? Uh, you can have it with uncanny seven. dodge, yep. Yep. That have to six, six thumb king dodge. Okay, six. Okay. Uh, wow. And then a strength save, please. Don't forget yep. your plus one to that. Yeah. Uh, strength save. Oof. All right. I'm prone. Uh, you are prone, and it bites you at advantage. Oh. Uh, ah. Dealing that you is 47 50. points of damage. Uh, 47 and half to 23. Uh, you can't. You already did oh, that. Oh, I can't. You could only 47 do it once. Or 47, it's 47 damage. It? Yep. Uh, and you are I'm grappled. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, alright. 
uh, is threat. Oh, wait, I'm not dead. You're, you're not dead yet. You're just making death saves. Yeah. This crocodile is definitely going to eat you, though. You stabbed it. I mean, he started it. Alright. You're, you're not wrong. Well. Alright. Well, let's, let's take it out. Um, this is going to be the third character of mine that gets out. No, um, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's no, not. No, no, it's not. I refuse. Not again. Don't worry. He won't die. This, he won't this die. This module is so huh? rude, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm That's surprised that Beerus has lasted this long. I'm just annoyed with fucking roll 20. Uh, those, uh, will all- the last one will miss. Uh, but... 28, 40 damage is a lot. This crocodile doesn't look happy about that. Okay, uh, uh and I'm drops also- blade. I'm also using the repelling blast feature to push it 30 feet. Oh. Uh... That's true. Away from, blade. Blade. Uh, yeah, yeah. away from Blade. Yeah, away from Blade. Yeah, it dropped Blade and was going to come for you. Uh, it dropped Blade as you hit it the first time, uh, but then you blasted it backwards. So Blade's unconscious body is lying on the ground there. Uh, Sir Derek. All right. I'm run up. Smacking with ball. Nope. That'll miss. That will no! also miss. That's it. All right, Beers. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. How how bad does the croc look? Uh, he is at about half health. He has several large scorch marks on his body from Isthrax, uh, uh, Isthrax Eldritch Blast, and a single bleeding wound from Blade's crossbow bolt. Ooh. Okay. If you pick I'm, up I'm gonna... Blade, Blade can attack. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Is he real quick? Is, is he within range of me to get to? He is just barely. I'm gonna go to Blade, and I'm gonna pop a Cure Light Wounds. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, so that's so, level five. So Veers gives you a special touch, Blade, and you and get, you get you're getting 35 hit points back. You're getting uh, 35 oh. hit points back. Game Wait, 35 what? HP. 35. Oh, yeah, geez. because yeah, because that. that puts me back in Yeah. And uh, I'm still prone though, right? You're still prone. Yep. Okay. Uh, anything else, Spears? Um, I think that's all I can do. I can't Eldritch Blast, can I? Uh, no, because it's not a bonus action. Yeah, um, nice. No, that's, that's it. That's uh, all, all right. Blade in the grass. You just have your movement to stand up. All right. Uh, I'm up and sneak attack. Yep. Boop. Boop. Eat this. And uh, that's my turn. Uh, I can't get yeah. to him. Cool. I don't think I can get to him. Uh, yeah, you can get to him. I don't think so. Uh, oh. I don't think so. I have to take the dash action, and I don't want to get back in to that thing. I'm good right here. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, so it takes <laughs> 25 right points here. of damage. Uh, it mm. didn't like that. It now has a larger bleeding wound from Blade's second attack. Beerus will yell out, I'm going to turn you into a pair of shoes. Because <laughs> beast feet. Uh, nice handbag. It's, it's a very aggressive <laughs> crocodile. I've never heard very a crocodile like that crocodile. noise. It's just, I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna the only him. roar I have, guys. He, he, must, he must have mimic. Mimicry. Right. <laughs> uh, the crocodile hits Sir Daverick with his tail. Tries to, anyways. Nah, it'll hit. Oh, no. I it thought it was rolled. a 20. It hasn't rolled yet. I missed this. Uh, repost. And with Direct. a single slice, you cut off the front part of this crocodile's snout. And it falls oh. to the ground dead. So, crocodile meat. Blade, uh... Blade How's puts, Blade survival? puts a hand on Varus' shoulder and shakes it. And says one word in the tabaxi language. I don't speak tabaxi. I need, need to know what that is in common. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I got you, buddy. Do you think you could carve that thing up real nice? Make some crocodile for dinner? It would be my pleasure. 
Give me a take survival a, check. Take a sh short yeah. rest. Sure. Not great at those, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm, uh, what's eleven okay. get me? Okay. It will get you three pounds of gator crocodile meat. Nice. Nom, 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 nom. What is? I just want to pry out a tooth. Can I pry out a tooth? Uh, or do you want to roll for it? Make an athletics check. Athletics. I'm gonna do this. Oh, three. There you go. Uh, you are not able to pry out a tooth. Uh, with a fifteen, you can. You get a tooth out. Fuck. That's a fourteen, though. No, it's fifteen. You, 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 you get the plus the, one from Roshi's. The fortress of Swallow Tooth. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, and then you guys are going to take a short rest uh, 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 on the edge of the the river here. Cook up some meat. Um, do we before we take the rest, Blade? Do you want another cure light wounds? Because uh, I'll get my small slots back. So I mean, it will, I may okay. as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll Might get them well. back. Yeah. So here you'll get uh, was that twenty seven thirty one hit points? Thirty one hit points. I am back to max. Uh, so you all are now right here. Uh, you have taken a short rest. If anybody wanted to roll some hit dice, you could do so. No. Uh, there is uh, put me back to max. Thank you again, by the way. All right. Cool. Good. Uh, let me read you some text. Crocodiles wallow in this muddy lake bed. You already know that. From which rises a walled ruin, two columns flank the entrance, and carved with images of a long-legged bird with a needle-like beak. At the building's front, slimy steps ascend to an entry arch. Beerus looks at Blade. Five gold pieces says that we're going to have to fight either alligators or birds here. A thousand fucking water. This is what you see. Now... Do we see uh, those gators there? There is a plaque above the. Are you? Do you see the gators? They're yeah, like, yeah they're I, I see gators right there. They're one right not, there, and then on your layer. one over How there. Do you see them? They're on our layer, apparently. If they're not there, we don't. If they're not there for our character. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, I see. You see, you see pictures. You see pictures of gators. Uh, yes, those are real gators. Blade uh, reaches into his pocket, withdraws five gold coins, and holds his hand out to Varus. Pleasure doing business with you. The reason, the reason I, I said they're not on la your layer, you shouldn't be able to see them, is because oh. the ones that are part of the map were blocked by the tokens that I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see a token. Oh, God. I, they're there. I'm, I, we have a, I have an idea. Uh, all right. Uh, above the shrine entrance, uh, there is a plaque with a an inscription in Old Omuin. Beerus, you read it. It says, Papa Zottle teaches us to bow before no one. Uh, Papa, 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 who, Papa, who, Papa, Papa, Papa Zottle. Big Papa. Uh, you do see that there are crocodiles lurking in the flooded courtyard. Um, make, uh, anybody who wants to can make me an animal handling check. I want to pitch an... Oh! <laughs> uh, the crocodiles are clearly hungry, Blade. Hmm. Blade right, frog, turns I to the group and says, uh, "Sorry, man. sorry." Blade turns to the group and uh, and asks, "How willing are you to uh, part with some of that uh, alligator meat? Because if we could give these charming friends something to munch on, maybe they'll ignore us." All right, by me. I'm down. I do have one other idea. I could try to persuade them to look elsewhere while we go in. I have, as you can see, I have my ways. Mm-hmm. You could so do I that, could, yeah. I could attempt to persuade them if we want to avoid parting with food, or we can use it in tandem. 
It's up to y'all. Uh, if you uh, attempt to give them food while trying to persuade them, I'll let you make the animal handling check with your beast speech at advantage. Oh, gotta be animal handling wouldn't be persuasion. God. Ugh. They're, they have Best intelligence the... of two. You can't persuade them. No, I can't use Master the Beast either. Okay, um... And I'm not great at animal handling, I don't know, so... Yeah, my animal handling is, is nothing as well, it just had to be a good roll. Uh, do you what have is... any animal handling, Zach or Dabrick? Animals aren't my forte. Animal friendship it's just lets you... They are, it just... Sir Daverick dealing with animals usually involves Bob. <laughs> That's fair. Animal friendship allows you to cast animal friendship, right? A potion of animal friendship does? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, what are the, do you have the details on animal friendship, Eric? Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, they have to have an intelligence greater than four. I can tell you right now, it's not going to work. <sighs> they have only two. It's not going to Unless, unless Thrax reads something different. Nope. Uh, That's you're correct. I... It, they have to have an intel okay. in, yeah. intelligence above four. So you're not going to be able to use animal friendship for the same reason that you can't use persuasion yeah. to try and convince them. I'll do it. They're too you stupid. guys just pat me up if things look a little hairy, please. But I'll, I'll do it. So you, right. I'm making it just an advantage to uh, animal so, handling. So what are, you, what are you offering them to eat? I'd say we got about two pounds of crock meat left so from what we harvest harvested what we didn't eat during our little snack yep. uh, so I'll take it and just kind of how tall are these wall areas here uh, so the water is about two feet deep mm -hmm. everywhere and then the the like this here this is like a, the side of a, of a wall uh, it? yeah it's it's like a it's like a courtyard wall so like the surface of the top of the of the garden wall just barely crests the surface of the water. The walls okay, are like so if two I were to, feet tall. If I were to like hop on it and walk across it, I'd have more sturdy footing, I feel like, maybe. Uh, I would need a, uh, an acrobatics check to walk uh, on that wall. It is not five feet wide. Okay, I'll just, I'll just walk through the water then. Sure. And I'll say, alright, Gator. Alright, Gator boys. <laughs> I, got to, I got a deal Ooh. for y'all. I'll, I'll give you some meat. You head on downstream. You, you you didn't really go get their pretension, did you? Yes. Oh boy. I've got to, to do the animal handling check. You see, uh, uh, so put your token where you would be walking. Okay. Uh, I'd be like probably here, and just trying to get get their attention from as as far away as possible, maybe, and maybe a little bit closer. Uh, sure. I, I uh, feel like I'd have to get close to it. Uh, so, this one swims up to you. Uh, and you see that at each of the other points where there looks like there's a crocodile, there is, in mm -hmm. fact, a crocodile. Nice. Uh, this one swims up to you uh, and says, uh, sniffs you, and you are now covered in, like, marine crocodile snot and nice. sniffs you and says uh, oh squish and meat alright you want me to check now and see how bad I do it yep alright oh my oh, fucking god thank you roll 20 <laughs> thank squishy. you so much squishy meat R in Jesus R in Jesus uh, so you offer him the crocodile meat yeah, I've got it, like, you know, cut up into chunks, and I'll toss, like, a, you know, a portion of it in his mouth. How much of your total three pounds of crocodile meat do you give him? A pound, we'll say. All right. Uh... I'll tell him if you want more, there's a body a little ways downstream. Crocodiles aren't going to survive. Yeah. I mean, crocodiles are a big, technically big, cannibalistic. Really technically. Uh, it uh, eats the meat and sort of swims away. Hell yeah. 
but I'm gonna as that, do this for every one of them. As that happens, the other three come up to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this one sort of crests over sorry, the I top was... of the of the of the wall, <gasps> crawls over it. Uh, and then this one comes over here as well. Oh, squishy meat. There's... And I'll take the other two pounds. I'll divide them up into, what is that, like three quarters of a pound, roughly, to give each one equal share? Sure. It's something like that. And uh, I'll <coughs> tell them the same thing. There's another body out of stream if they want more. <laughs> Are you going to make me do this check three more times? Uh, I am going to make you do the check three more times. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, let's go okay. Also okay. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, so... Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, two of the crocodiles believe you and fully swim off. Uh, the third one, uh, because you got that nat 20, is also going to swim off. Uh, but one of them looks at you and says, uh, finishes the meat and looks at you and says, Squishy meat. Fine. I'll take some rations out of my bag. I can give it to. How many rations do you give him? I'll sell. I give him like a, a two yeah. days, two days worth of rations. All right. I think that's that's a pretty hefty. <laughs> uh, and it uh eats them and swims away. <laughs> I was fully prepared to thunderstep my ass out of there if need be. Okay, uh, you guys, there are no crocodiles between you and the entrance to the shrine now. Vera turns around and he's like, I got this. <laughs> uh, as you walk up to the entrance, moss clings to the stonework throughout this hall. The mosaic, def the mosaic floor depicts a tall bird using its long, pointy beak to pin a monstrous frog-like creature with tentacles sprouting from its shoulders. Set into the far wall is a heavy set of stone doors. Are you fellas going to follow me up into the building? Yep. Yep. And you said this water is two feet deep? It's two feet deep, yeah. It's difficult yeah, terrain, but steps. you can easily walk through it. So this bird is poking a what? So... Uh, the frog in the monster we floor, fought. Yeah, correct. So you see um, an Iblis, which is a, a, a big, tall, it looks like a crane, um, yep. stabbing a frog hemoth with its beak in the floor. I love that's the name, frog hemoth. Um, uh, so, was one of the other extra gods a frog hemoth? Uh, uh, yeah, the first one of the one first fought. ones we fought. That was uh, one of the uh, uh, still. Would have been Kubazan. Uh, Kubazan is the frog human. Ah, uh, okay. So, Papa Zottle hates Kubazan. Kub that is a reasonable Probably. thing to conclude. Uh, these doors are closed. Okay. Can I open them? They are lo not locked, but they are incredibly heavy. You need a strength score of 20 or above. <laughs> Sir Dabrick has open, a strength to score. Open the door. Does he? So, uh, just roll, roll strength. Uh, I've no, got is 20. Your, is your strength is 20? Yeah, you push the doors open. They're very nice. heavy, uh, but you are able to push them open. I, as I finish, I, I look at Barry. She wants some more sweat, and then I just keep pushing. Yeah, I'll need some later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you gather a vial of sweat. Uh, All right, let me read you Oh, this. day Dabrick. Uh, an empty pedestal stands in the middle of this chamber. Six statues face it from alcoves in the wall. They depict bare-chested humans with the heads of different animals. From left to right, the heads resemble those of a lizard, a jaguar, a lobster, a toucan, a bat, and a frog. Is there uh, there any Do we have any inscriptions? There is an inscription, and it's written in common. Oh, uh, Ooh, we don't need a uh, for this one. It says <laughs> comes <Jesus>. with. <laughs> it says comes with sunshine, leaves with night, 
hides in darkness, does not bite, always joined to its caster, never strays from its master. That's not a being. That's a that's that's a fucking shadow is what that fucking is. Oh. Comes yeah, with yeah. sunshine, leaves with night, God hides in darkness. It's a shadow. It's a shadow. It's a shadow. Always damn. joined to its caster, never strays from its master. Uh, it's Peter Pan is what that is. Uh, uh, what are you going to do with that information, Sir Dabrick? I have no fucking idea, but that is a shadow. <laughs> you are correct. That is the answer to that riddle. That is the information there, you need there to are find lights. the puzzle cube in here. Do... Is there a light anywhere in this chamber? Uh, you do not see a light anywhere in the chamber. Uh, so, current... Okay, can we put, like, a torch on the pedestal? Uh, I heard a... none of that, Emin. Uh, yeah, you can so, put a torch on the wait. pedestal. Um, uh, uh, you just, like, set a torch on the pedestal? Uh, yeah, and then light it. First of all, as you pick up the torch off of the top of the pedestal, uh, you see the outline of a stone hatch on its upper surface, but no matter what you do, you cannot get the hatch open. So as you walk around with the uh, torch, uh, each of the uh, each of the statues cast a shadow against the back of their alcove until you get to the bat uh, and when the bat casts a shadow uh, instead of casting the shadow you see the entrance to the secret hallway behind it okay I'm going to tell the group that there is a secret entrance behind Bat statue. Nice. Uh, and I will congratulate Sir Tapric on figuring out the pub. Yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> Istrak, do you walk into the into the through the chamber there, through the hallway into the chamber? Uh, sure. I'll do that. Right. So. I go behind. Crawl. Oh man, it's tight. It is, it is a tight yeah. squeeze, yes indeed. Uh, as you walk into that room, a strange grid is etched into the far wall of this stone cell. So that's the riddle. Oh, right okay, okay. That was the shadow, but and then there's the key. Uh, can... Are there images on those uh, darker tiles? Matt, or is that just the way they're designed? Are that's just the way they're images? designed. Okay, it's just okay. the way they're designed, yeah. I figured out the riddle. I'm done. Yeah, you did your yes. best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got rid of you the pulled your weight. I got rid of the croc. I did my part. We're, we're There's in. nothing on that grid. It's just the dark, the it's dark squares blank and blank, and there are dark squares. Yes. Do they move? No. If you press on any of the squares, they don't depress. Uh, no. Uh, so... Does Shadow have anything hard. to do with it? If, if we put the torch up to it, does it... Are there pinholes that shine through and spell something behind it? Anything you like that? Do, you do <laughs> notice that the dark squares seem to have a purpose. You feel like if you knew what all of the squares were supposed to contain, what the dark squares contained would be the clue that you need. I've Can we really break one of them? Are there eye holes or some peepholes or whatever? Uh, there are no peepholes. Uh, you could uh, try to break one of them if you wanted to. So let's try to break the top left one. All right. Uh, make it a Does it Do anything. You miss. <laughs> okay. the, the wall has 15 AC. 
Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you shatter it. It shatters, and there are now hunks of brown, brown ceramic on the ground. I just wanted to hit the top left one. Yeah. The very yeah. smallest top left one. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yes. behind it? Nothing? Nope. Just wall. Stone wall. All right. That's uh, what no, I, that's I my you know default, what? is you, to hit shit. You know what's behind it? Uh, the letter C is behind it. The letter what? C. On another darkened uh, square. This is totally banjo The letter C. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. So let's hit the next one. Okay. No, I figured it out. I figured it out. Istrak has it. I believe. This is Wheel of Fortune. No, it's basically so the grid is 15 by 7, which is exactly 105. And if you count the number of characters in the riddle, it goes 17, 15, but 11. And it basically adds up to 105 characters as well. So uh, we time. interpose those words into yeah. the grid? Yeah, and Comes then by day, whatever the darkened by night, titles are. Hides in darkness, yeah. does not bite. Always joined to its caster, never strays from its master. What Even the money, the next letter after C is O. So yeah. is it possible that we could have the puzzle key as a map and then we could draw these letters over top of that? Uh, well, yeah, you can so you can do that now. I mean, you have access to the draw key. You can do it on your oh yeah, yeah. Your thing. Uh, oh man, uh, you have solved it though. Uh, and as you interpose the letters on, you notice that the brown squares uh, reveal these letters. Uh, oh, so the top. The top left and the one next to it are C and O. Uh, this one... Uh, oh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at. But the in the second row, the one in the second row is a V. The one below it is an E. Uh, and the one further to the left in the fifth row down is an R. Uh, and then the other four are E Y E S. Uh, Isthrak wants to cover the statue's eyes. Cover the uh, oh, the lizard, eyes. jaguar, lobster, toucan, bat, and frogs. The bat size, yeah. yeah. Bat size. Yeah. Cover the bat size. Uh, how are you going Fresh to cover the bat's eyes? I have bandages. I'll strain them together and wrap it around it like a like a gauze. Put my hands over top of it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when you cover the bat's eyes, nothing happens. What if we cover our eyes? You <laughs> can't see. I'm just saying, like, if we all cover, if we all <laughs> cover our eyes. the bat eyes? Both eyes at once. Your hands press them, attempt to stone. Press... No button. Hmm. There's, what if we cover all six statues' eyes? Uh, as you take the time to cover all six statues' eyes, as you wrap the bandages around the sixth one, you hear a grinding noise as the pedestal grinds up and the puzzle cube is inside. Boom! Uh, Jesus, Emin. We have so, one. Yeah. Le- we have pu- one puzzle cube left to get. The uh, you have two left to get, right? Two. Uh, Do no. We? Nang Nang, I think, is the one that we have left, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, oh, we yeah, have two. We have seven. Yeah, we have seven. Uh, this, two more. Is, this is Papa Zottle. Papa. Papa Zottle's Puzzle Cube. Show Papa two Zottle's players. Pizza. Nice. And. I thought it was funny. Papa Zottle's Pizza? No. Papa Zottle <laughs> was an eblis, not a racist. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we go back to... Is that what oh, the whole no. controversy was about? It is uh, uh, early evening at this point. Um, it feels like you could maybe... Uh, take a long rest if you wanted to 
in in crocodile infested waters. In crocodile infested waters. <laughs> or I mean, do we have yeah, time to go to go 18 somewhere or... else? You have time to go to eighteen. Yeah. Or would is, you guys uh... want it? Okay, so in this is all character thoughts. You know, if we go back to thirteen, the glass is it consumed upon casting? It uh... is consumed upon casting. Okay, so I'd have to find one hundred fifty gold pieces worth of fucking glass dust somewhere. Damn. It's expensive, but it's worth. We wouldn't. It. We wouldn't have that. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I, I. It would have taken most of the. It would have taken most of the empty potion bottles to make 150 gold worth of glass dust. Is there? Are there yeah. any glass windows in any of these buildings? Or are they all just open? Stone? That's a good Probably question. Make me a. Make me a. Make me an investigation check. Oh, Sir Davrick. That's uh, pretty good. You bet. You are easily able to find 150 gold worth of glass dust. There we go. Smashing windows with Bob. <laughs> nice. <laughs> go, Bob. See, brute force again. Fucking worse. Okay, so man. we have enough of this. We can go 18 and then I'll cast the spell for tonight. Yeah, yeah. let's go 18. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, let's. Uh... Yeah, while the rest of them are walking in water, I will Moses the water in front of me, so that I'm walking on dry land. Uh, <laughs> sure. So you're 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 parting the water in front of you, uh, and yeah. just allowing keep my the people shoes. behind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, yes. Uh. Am it, uh, Istrak gains a permanent plus one to his intelligence for solving that last one. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's fair. That's that's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So, uh, Istrak, if you are not waiting for your friends, you're going to get there a long time ahead of them. Oh uh, no, no, I, I will. I will move a bit ahead, and then I'll I'll just be waiting and they'll Wait. feel like look on my face which clearly <laughs> shows the superiority of you on T. Yeah. I will smite you into the smallest snake I can find. All right, All right. snake boys, don't push uh, it. Let's do uh let's do one of these. Uh you get encounter a patrol of you on T. Who are gathering information for Roz Nasi. Uh Let's see if they see you. They do not. You could get. You could just keep going if you want. You don't have to engage with them. Is. Um. So where are is they? Is Strack with this? Uh, Istrag is with you, yes. Uh, they okay. So you would have encountered them probably about here, and they are. They appear to be patrolling the city. Uh, you see them exit this doorway um, to the inner city, so you now have an idea that there's probably something you want to related in here in the middle. Um, Istrak would know about the UNT. Does he know what the UNT thing is in the middle? Because he's from there, right? Uh, yes, so that is the uh, Fane of the Night Serpent. That is where uh, Roz Nassi and his followers worship Dendar the Night Serpent, intending to bring him back to the Material Plane. Okay. Uh, I'm going to warn the others that we need to stay well away from there as we trek along this thing to uh, get to that other corner. Uh, every I'm going make, to... uh, actually, just Istrak, uh, make me a perception check. You hear them say in abyssal. Does anybody else, else speak abyssal? Nah, nah. Negative. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Uh, nope. But you do, right? Istrak? Istrak does? Yeah, yeah I uh, do. You hear them say in abyssal. Uh... Rosnacy says that they found almost all of the puzzle cubes. We must claim one so that they need to come to the Fane. Oh, the what? The Fane. The mm. Fane of the Night Serpent. Okay. Go, go to 20. 
Uh, 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 correct. Yeah, they're they're intent on drawing you to the fane of the night serpent. Let's not. So they're gonna take nineteen and be at the middle, and we have to go get it. Oh shit! Yeah. And there's no way for us to get to nineteen before them, because uh, the only way. Where are is... they? Right. Uh, they came out here, uh, and so they are going around. But you all are uh, stopped wait. at eighteen. And it'll take you an hour in the shrine. So they will have plenty of time to get to 19 before you do. Can I... Well, uh, can this I... is like apparently a whole like mini city of U1T. Plenty so even of time if this for party. Even me? Uh, I got 20 decks. I've got 5 decks. Is there any way that I could be fast and cat-like to get there before they do? You no. Wanna... So, so Blade, listen. So Blade, you want to okay. run off on your own to face a part of you on T? I mean, no, I don't want. But I, I think we want to go here even less. I think we're going to end up there go. regardless. I kind of want to. Well, as to see is getting on my damn nerves. Yeah. <laughs> He's been hey, he's been harrying you guys starts. for this whole campaign. Like like Virus is at the point now where it's like if, if he hears them say Rosna C one more time, he is going to actually lose his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I think all the timing of this, like it's dark. You know, it's getting yeah, dark. It's There's no way we're making it there. Yeah. Yeah. You you definitely at, at best it would be a nighttime fight against at least one horde of Yuan-Ti, uh By the time you get to and 19. I don't have dark vision. So actually, Wait, I think I do. do. You're a cat. Wait, no, yeah. Tabaxi is yeah. definitely. Yeah. Tabaxi, I have dark vision, so I could Sir probably. Would be in the shit though. But yeah. Yeah, I, I say we. All right, we're we... just gonna have to bite the bullet. Yeah. Be outside yeah. of this temple and we um, yep, yep. set up for a long rest and mm -hmm. take a tackle in the morning. Sure. Uh, so you're going to uh, long rest outside of 18 and then go in in the morning? Is that what we want to do? I would think we, no, 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 we can do 18. 18. First, and then Let's do 18. Do rest. Then long rest. Okay. I think we should as well because I mean, I have all my sure. soul slots. So sure. We're, ba we're all at full health still. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. As you approach this, you see monoliths adorned with prancing frog-like figures rising from the swamp. Beyond, a ruined edifice shaped like an arrowhead squats in the muddy water. Bushes and trees grow from its roof. At the pointed front of the building, steps ascend to a stone door caked in slime. This must be Nang Nang. Cause that was the grung one, right? Uh, that is the grung one. You are correct. <sighs> I remember that. We we heard about Nang Nang. Virus is like, oh, God, they're just frog goblins. But I feel bad because they're cute. I uh, frogs kill are delicious. Let me. <laughs> uh, so you guys are actually coming uh, up to this shrine from the back side uh, because mm -hmm. you came through the water. As you look around, you don't see anything in the immediate vicinity. So as you uh, as you look at the water, the water. Uh, does sugar fly up a bit? Uh, so I was asking is like how far how high up is that wall? Uh, it's the same as the others, so like it's just cresting the surface of the water. Yeah, so I'll have her fly it. forward a little bit and just uh, sit and look, see what sure. she sees. So as Sugar flies, she catches a glimpse of a grung stepping to the edge of the roof mm -hmm. and drawing an arrow. And as it looses, you all see a barrage of arrows flying at you. And that's where oh, we'll boy. call it. What's the party. lighting like oh, right God now? Damn it. It's dark. Uh, we will uh, begin next week with the battle at Nang Nang Shrine. <laughs>